square of side 1 is defined to have an area of 1. Well, you could think of this as 1 multiplied by 1, giving 1. So if the sides are in centimetres, then we'd say that the area is 1 centimetre squared. If the sides are in metres, we'd say that the area is 1 metre squared. To find the area of this rectangle, we just count the number of unit squares that are in it. We will find that there are 15 unit squares, that is squares of area 1, inside this rectangle. We can also arrive at that number by multiplying 3 by 5. We have 3 rows of 5 unit squares. Suppose we want to get the area of this parallelogram. One side of it is 5 units long, and if we get the perpendicular distance between these two parallel lines, we'll see that it's 3 units. We could also show it here, of course. This is the shortest distance between the two parallel lines in the parallelogram. It's 3 units in this case. Let's look at the rectangle whose base is 5 units long and whose height is 3 units long. I will prove that the area of the parallelogram is equal to the area of the rectangle. We can get the area of the parallelogram by adding this triangle onto the rectangle and by subtracting this triangle here from the rectangle. So we are going to look at these two triangles. We are going to prove that these two triangles are congruent. Well, by construction, both of these triangles are right angle triangles. Also, we see that this angle here and this angle here are corresponding angles because this line is parallel to this line here. So we see that two angles are the same in both of these triangles two corresponding angles and the right angles, and we see that one side is the same, the side of length 3 units in this case. So if that's the case, the triangles are congruent. So by angle side angle, that means two angles and one side the same, um, we see that adding this triangle onto the rectangle and taking the very same triangle from the rectangle will lead us to this parallelogram, which must have the same area as the square, or as the rectangle, sorry. So to get the area of a parallelogram, we take one side of it, say this side here, which is 5 units long, and we multiply by the perpendicular distance between the parallel sides, or if you like, the perpendicular height of the parallelogram. So the area of the parallelogram is 15.